हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट दिस सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट इफ द रिजल्टेंट कपल ऑफ थ्री कपल्स एक्टिंग ऑन द ट्राइंगल ट्राइंगुलर ब्लॉक इज टू बी जीरो डिटर्मिन द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स एफ एंड पी सो द रिजल्टेंट मोमेंट ऑन द ट्राइंगुलर ब्लॉक इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वी हैव three pair of forces which are producing the couple right so this force f and this force f this p and this 150 newton force so we have three pair of forces they are producing three couples so we are going to find the couple using the vector approach let me write it we want to use the vector approach vector method so let's say that the couple produced by these uh, pair of forces is let's say m1 so m1 vector this will be equal to the moment arm from c to b cross the force vector so now our cb is the position vector which is acting from c to b so which is acting from c to b so from c we need to travel 600 mm distance in the positive x to reach that point b so 600 mm in meters is 0.6 meters so we need to travel 0.6 meters in the positive i direction so our cb is 0.6 in the positive i direction cross product with force f now we will represent this particular force as a cartesian vector we will represent that force as a cartesian vector which lies on the head of this position vector so this the arrow head ends here so at the end of this arrow head we have this force f right so this force f is acting in the positive z direction or in the positive k so we can say that the that force f has a magnitude of f and it is acting in the positive k so this is plus fk now if we take the cross product this is i j and k so now this will be 0.6 f and i cross k so i cross k will give us minus j in the opposite direction that will give us minus j and in this direction that will give us a uh, positive value right so this gives us m1 equals to 0.6 f minus j now if we have used our bc instead of our cb let me find m1 couple using our bc cross f so now our bc will be acting from b to c and again we need to travel 600 mm distance but this time in the negative x so this time we will write that our bc is 0.6 in the negative i cross force f so now our bc so we need to write this force as a cartesian vector while using this while using our bc as a moment arm for finding the couple now the magnitude of this force f is f the negative sign only tells us that it is acting in the opposite direction of this force f right so the magnitude is force f and it is acting in the negative k so we will write that this force as a cartesian vector can be represented as minus fk the magnitude is force f and the unit vector is along the z axis but in the negative z direction so that is in the negative k so both of these must give us the same couple right so this will be minus 0.6 into minus f that will give us plus 0.6 f i cross k and i cross k will give us minus j so this is minus j minus j and from this we can write that this is minus 0.6 f j now what is the meaning of uh, this is the magnitude and minus j so the moment is acting in the negative y direction so this these two forces these two pair of forces they are producing the moment the couple in this direction like this 
and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out in the negative y direction so that is why we have minus j here so the couple due to these two pair of forces is minus 0 0.6 fj similarly to find m2 the moment produced by these two couple of forces uh, these uh, this pair of forces is m2 let's say so m2 will be now this time i'm going to define the moment arm from a to d the position vector from a to d so this is the position vector from a to d cross p vector so now our ad is again uh, 600 mm distance we need to travel 600 mm distance in the negative x so we can say that our ad is 0 0.6 in the negative i cross p now this p this force has a magnitude of p and it is acting in the positive j so we can write that this is p j and this is plus p j now if we take this product so this will be minus 0 0.6 p and i cross j i cross j so i cross j will give us plus k so this is plus k so this is the couple produced due to that p forces so m2 is minus 0 0.6 pk now the let's say that the couple due to this these two 150 newton forces is m3 so m3 vector this will be equal to the position vector from a to b cross that 150 newton force let's say that this 150 newton force is let's say f1 so cross f1 vector so now our a b so so we need to write the position vector from a to b the position vector from a to b so we can find the position vector from a to b by traveling from a along the x y and z to reach that point b so from a we need to travel 400 mm in the negative y this is in the negative y so 400 mm in meters is 0.4 so 0.4 in the negative j so we will reach here and then from here we need to travel 300 mm in the positive k so 300 mm in meters is 0.3 so this is plus 0 0.3 in the positive k so this means that the i component is zero there is no need to travel along the x-axis to reach that point b from a so this is we can write that this is 0 i minus 0 0.4 j plus 0 0.3 k cross product with this f1 we have defined uh, this r a b from a to b so this force this 150 newton force lies on the head of this position vector from a to b so we need to represent this particular force as a cartesian vector while using that cross product so this 150 newton force is acting in the positive x so i will write that this is 150 in the positive i so this is the cartesian vector representation of that f1 which is acting at this particular point so now we can find this m3 using that determinant method so this is i j and k and the components of the position vector from a to b is 0 minus 0 0.4 0 0.3 and the force is only acting in the positive i so this is this is 150 0 and 0 so now we can find this m3 couple vector so for i we need to hide this and this so this is 0 minus 0 so this is 0 i then for j we need to hide this and this so 0 minus this and with j we need to write minus so minus j and 0 minus this so minus 0 0.3 into 150 and then for k we need to hide this and this 0 minus this so that is uh, plus 
minus into minus 0 0.4 into 150 into k so this is 0 i and 0 0.3 into 150 this is 45 so and minus into minus is plus so this is plus 45 j and similarly this is uh, minus into minus 0 0.4 into 150 this gives us plus 60k so now the resultant moment is equals to zero in the problem statement it is said that the resultant moment on this triangular block is zero so we we can aid these three couples since they are free vectors so we can aid them m1 plus m2 plus m3 they are equal to zero so now m1 is minus 0 0.6 f so minus 0 0.6 f this is m1 now m2 is minus 0 0.6 p and this minus 0 0.6 f is in the direction of j right so we need to write this is the vector addition so this is in the j and m2 is minus 0 0.6 p in the k direction and we have this m3 so m3 is plus 0 i plus 45 j plus k and this must be equal to zero vector this is zero vector so from from zero vector we can say that this is zero i plus zero j plus zero k so now we can add this j term with j and k with k so we can write that this is minus 0 0.6 f j plus 45 j and minus 0 0.6 p k plus 60 k and this is equal to 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k and similarly we can write that this is minus 0 0.6 f plus 45 into j and this is plus minus 0 0.6 p plus 60 into k and this is equal to 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k so now if we compare both sides of the equation so this this will be equal to 0 since this is 0 j so minus 0 0.6 f plus 45 this is equal to 0 and minus 0 0.6 p plus 60 this is equal to 0 so now from this we can say that minus 0 0.6 f is equal to minus 45 minus will cancel out and force f is 45 divided by 0 0.6 and remember that the units of these moments is in newton's meter since the force is considered in newton and the position vectors are considered in meter so all these have the units equal to newton meter this is newton meter this is newton meter similarly uh, this is also in newton meter so similarly this 45 this is in newton meter since this is the component of the moment and this 0 0.6 this is the distance so this is in meters so ultimately they will give us force f in newtons so 45 divided by 0 0.6 this is 75 newton and similarly from this we can write that minus 0 0.6 p equals to minus 60 minus will cancel out and p is 60 divided by 0 0.6 so p is 60 divided by 0 0.6 this gives me 100 so 100 newton so if force this the magnitude of these two forces is equal to 75 newtons and the magnitude of these two p forces is equal to 100 newtons so they will the their couples will cancel out so the force f magnitude is 75 newton 
and P force magnitude is 100 Newton. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Statics.